Losing weight is a top New Year's resolution, and you may already be struggling to keep it going. More than two-thirds of Americans are overweight or obese. Dr. Louis Aroni says it's not their fault. His new book is called The Change Your Biology Diet. And it, he says being unable to lose excess weight is not a question of willpower or even motivation. It's a medical problem that involves your genes, your brain, your fat cells, and even your hormones. Don't I know it? Dr. Aroni is director of the Comprehensive Weight Control Center at Weill Cornell Medical Center, Medical College, rather, sorry, that's in New York. Welcome back to Studio 57, Dr. Aroni. Thank you, Gail. Okay, so the foreword's written by David Letterman, who says this about you. This book will make you feel better, lose weight, and make you as smart as Alec Trebek. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. But you tell a great story at the beginning when you say you compare losing weight and willpower. You, you give an example of a swimmer going underwater, holding your breath. I thought it was very genius. That's right. Weight is controlled like other physical factors in the body. If you try to hold your breath for 10 minutes, at some point you jump out of the water to breathe. Something would tell you that you're drowning. And when you try not to eat, there are physical forces that do the same thing. They tell you to eat. And we haven't really taken that into account when we've developed diets and other treatments for weight problems. You say there are hidden fattening factors that we may not be aware of. What are they? There are at least 10 of them. So in addition to eating too much and not exercising enough, things like the medicines we take. 20% yeah. of weight problems may be related to medicines you're taking. Sleep disorders and shorter sleep. We're sleeping an hour or less than we used to. Uh, th there are problems that we're not going to change, like the temperature in the room. The temperature is controlled. You don't have to burn calories to regulate your body temperature any longer. Okay, okay. let's just go to the, this book is called Change Your Biology Diet, proven program for lifelong weight loss. Mm -hmm. Give us the first four things we ought to know. The most important thing is that weight is a physical thing. So that the environment, eating fattening food, changes the nerves in your brain. It damages your brain in a way that makes it difficult for you to lose weight. So that we look at it as completely willpower, but actually you're dealing with a situation that becomes increasingly physical as time goes on. The more weight you gain, the harder it is to lose weight because you have more cravings and you don't feel full. Okay, let me stop you there. So what do we do about that? What you do about that, are, there are several different factors in several layers. Number one, as far as eating is concerned, we find that eating in a certain way is the healthiest. So there are other factors besides what's going on in your brain that tell us the best thing to eat. Uh, You're eating, talking about the order of, of what you eat. Eat protein first in the morning, you say. Well, right. eating protein first controls your appetite and mm -hmm. blood sugar the best. Mm -hmm. Eating lots of vegetables, olive oil, healthy oils, we know that those things are healthy. But the problem is, so I could tell you just to do that, mm -hmm. that would be great, but people develop cravings for starches and sweets at some point in time. What we found and what the book discusses is when you should have carbs so that they have the least metabolic impact, the least effect on your appetite. Eat so carbs what is that? last. You said eat carbs last. That's right. Eating carbs at the end of a meal and at the end of the day. And that's not something that people know. Haven't you been to the restaurant, doctor, where they put the bread basket out first and I've already eaten two pieces of bread before the food comes? Mm -hmm. so, why, why can't why can't what me not do it? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I knew you were going to say because it's hot, Charlie. It's hot. <laughs> if you're trying to control you're your right. weight, having the bread first <laughs> yes. will raise your blood sugar. It yeah. drops and later on. Tell them not to put any bread your on your table. table. I know. So I, know. I think I thought this was really. I really, really like your book. I think it's so brilliantly done. It's based on science. It's a real diet. And what you talk about here, the mo the best way to lose weight is to have a low glycemic or low carb Mediterranean type of diet with plenty of protein and then you go through specifically what foods are low glycemic can you just rattle off a bunch of them so we know things that we should be eating every day to, to achieve that so the the key things to be eating are healthy proteins chicken fish and lots of vegetables mm -hmm. all the vegetables you can healthy oils like olive oil, starting with that as the basis. And then again, carbs come in, people want carbs. So the carbs you should have should be high fiber carbs like legumes, beans would be the best can, thing to can have. Can I, with respect, ask you, Absolutely. with great respect for what you write and say, isn't that what everybody tells us? Isn't that diet of no, carbs late, mm -hmm. no, fish, chicken, Vegetables. be careful and eat smaller portions. 
in the essence of all dieting, all the best dieting about just that? The problem is okay. that people don't know how to do it. So you can tell somebody to do it. The question is, how do you do it? And, and that's what the book goes into, Charlie, is mm -hmm. how you can accomplish this. And then if that doesn't work, we go into what do you do next? We use medication, we use surgery, I mean, I run uh, the Wild Cornell Comprehensive Weight Control Center. We use very advanced strategies. When should someone consider going to a doctor to consider using these more advanced treatments? And what you eat is more important than exercise. You draw yes. the distinction between exercise and movement. Because I think if I exercise more to keep up with what I'm eating, that that's, that'll solve it. And you go, nope, that's This wrong. is a big problem we see it at mm -hmm. Uh, in January. People try to lose weight by going to the gym. Yeah. It's virtually impossible to exercise your way out of your weight problem. Yeah. Somebody said to me this week, because I'm very much like to be in perfect shape, someone said to me, the most important thing you can do in 2016 is nutrition. I think so. I think that we've, you can be more active and actually that's a lot easier than people think. You don't have to do as much exercise as many people think you have to do to be in good shape. 15 minutes a day of brisk walking can do it. The problem is healthy eating. Gotcha. Right. Thank you. I love that you have a menu plan in here too that will really change people's ideas about what they should be eating. Dr. Louis Aroni, thank you so much. And stand up every 20 minutes. We thank you. The biology, the change your biology diet goes on sale tomorrow.